Hello everybody, this is Dragonheart and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're back with the Aravaki campaign for Hannibal at the Gates and in the last episode we lost Ebora to the Lusitani tribe. Unfortunately, we do have our spy nearby. I need to start rebuilding as well so I can try to retake Ebora. Now there's a lot of a lot of land in between Tolatum and Ebora. It's going to take a good few turns to get back down there or a good few turns for them to get up to me. I do have an army in Tolatum which I've started building, which I was eventually going to use to go and take out uh, the Oratani down here. But instead, because I am at war with the Lusitani, I'm going to continue to recruit units here. So let's see, we want another unit of Ballista. We've got some Scutari and some Iberian swords. Uh, one more unit of cavalry should be sufficient, and I'm thinking perhaps some spearmen. One, two, three, and a couple of skirmishers. I think that army is going to take three turns to recruit all of them, and we can soon push out from Tolatum. Now let's have a double check of everything that I own. Helmantica can't be upgraded at the moment. Same with Numantia, and then of course in the north we have Lugos. Um, I wonder if I can move out this army without the... Uh, it's only minus five. However, what I could do, I could, I think I can raise another force. Yeah, I can have two more armies, so it may be wise for me to raise another force. We want... Celserix, don't we already have him? Reburos, we'll have him raise an army. He can be a noble fighter, and we'll stick him in there. And there we go, straight away, our... Um, thingy has gone right up. This army can now start venturing south. We'll go through this way and where's our border? We're going to go to our border. There we are. Yeah, that, that, I'm quite happy with that plan. They can come down from the south there. We can perhaps recruit one or two units on the way. This army is currently recruiting. We will have over 2,000 next turn. We have eight food which is good. Now technology wise I haven't really been researching anything civil. We do have iron tools, honorable husbandry. It's probably important that I get something. Wealth from industry enables a barbarian small town. That would probably be beneficial. Growth in all provinces. Yeah, we'll go with that one for now. Diplomacy is to have a double check just to make sure we know where we stand. So the Asturias in the north are trading and they are happy. I wonder if they will accept a confederation. Nope. We have the Cantabri who only have one province left. Perhaps they were willing to join. Maybe not. What if we offer them some money as well? No. Not interested either. The Oratani. We could trade with the Oratani. And that might be beneficial considering they're at war with Carthage. Let's see. I want some money though, so can we... No. Is it worth it? They won't accept anyway, okay? And the rest are not too happy with me. And that is the Lusitani who we're at war with. Carthage, which is over here, but they do have some land down here. Vascones, which are up here in the north, could prove to be a a difficulty if they decide to declare war on me. So we have to watch our backs. But anyway, we shall end turn and see if anything interesting happens in this end turn phase. And this episode shall be up on a Friday if all goes to plan. And hopefully this week I'll be able to have Monday to Friday Aravaki campaign. So this should be one every day. Ready to command, statesman. Encourage populace Celtiberia. Celtib I can't pronounce it. You know what I mean, guys. <laughs> uh, Tolatum can be upgraded, so... We have a sacred enclosure which gives me plus two at the moment, public order. I could get wealth with the Grove of Bandua. Grove of Atagina, perhaps? What's the most expensive one? They're usually the best ones. Uh, any of these, I think. Unit morale upon recruitment could be good and the cost would be low public order growth culture and to go with grove of nato 
Hellman Tiger can also upgrade. We have a farm. We do get minus four public order squalor, so I might stay off that for now. And then our province in the north in Lugos, we can't actually upgrade anything there. This army is going to come down to the south. I probably need one or two more units here to be to be fully satisfied. And what are we short on? We could do with perhaps two units of slingers for now. And perhaps a spearman unit as well. So I'm happy with that. This army is got two more turns to go. And I think that's all we can pretty much do. I got I do have my spy down here. Now let's scout out Ebora. And we could actually Let's see. Is it worth sabotaging? Fifty six percent positive outcome. I don't see the point at the moment though. I'd rather keep my money for the time being and see what happens. So we'll end turn again. Fly through the end turn, try and get myself prepared for a battle, and hopefully we can have a battle at the end of this episode. That is the plan. Encourage populace. Lusitania. Interesting. So, one more turn. I could probably, I think I can probably move out without waiting. And that's exactly what we're going to do. I could, of course, recruit one or two mercenaries when I need to, which I probably will do. Now, this army needs to get to Ebora. Let's just go to the border. What are we short on? Got three units remaining. Got some swordsmen. So let's get two more swordsmen and one more slinger. And that completes that army. So one more turn and then they can start moving south. Excellent work there. And then this army, I've decided to recruit some mercenaries when the time is right. But I'm just going to keep them on the border for now where they are. I have over a thousand left, so let's just quickly go through all my towns again. So nothing there, nothing there. Helmantica. We can actually upgrade a few things in Helmantica. So we can go to a barbarian village. Now this does give me minus two food, but I do get growth, I do get wealth, uh, unit morale upon recruitment, and I get a better garrison. So I'm going to go with the barbarian village for now in Helmantica. My garrison's currently on ten, but we will get a bit of an increase there as well. So another end turn. Fly through the end turns. Hopefully we can finish the week on a high and try and retake Ebora if possible. Research complete. Raise site. Excellent. Trait gain as well. Minus 3% tax rate all provinces. Okay, so first things first, technology wise, want to get some more civil stuff at the moment I think. We can have this which will give us minus two tax, pl plus two tax, minus two agent action. We'll go for this, animal husbandry, enables building of a salt kill and a cattle ranch. Or we can go with a craft specialization. Wealth from all regions, clay pit. Yeah, we'll go with that, I'm happy to go with that. Right, so now is where the battles will commence. First things first, this army must move out. We'll go as far as we can. But they don't want to be in range of them really. And we're going to have this army to come down south now as well. Eventually they're going to go there. As you can see, they're both going to go towards Ebora. And then hopefully, between them both, I will have enough power to o overtake. Uh, Olisipo as well. At least that's what I hope. There's plenty of money remaining. Anything else we can build now? We can build that farm, of course. Lugos can't really have anything at the moment. Uh, may as well build the farm, I guess. Mm, don't know. We're going to be. I won't do it yet, but I will do it soon. Then turn. I do want to keep some food and some money aside just in case things do. Uh, go a bit crazy in this campaign. I think I mentioned in the last episode that the food uh, is important. It looks like they're going to move out to me. Uh oh, that's not good. 
Now, I just got an idea out here, I think. Got an idea. They've just pushed out. They're going to be around here somewhere. Now, my spy could probably find out where they are. However, I've got this army coming down south as well. I want this army to be involved as soon as possible. Let's go on the road. My spy needs to come up here, find out where they are. Here they are. Right. I could attack them. They are in force march, I believe. They are. We have 8 and we have 12. That makes 20. Now what we're going to do is we are going to recruit two units of cavalry and we're going to attack them in force march. So here we are. Here we are. The battle that I promised in this episode. Bam. Now we're only attacking one of them, but I should have enough movement points to attack the second army. So, without further ado, let's fight this battle and take them out. It looks like a giant sausage, doesn't it? The the map are they? <laughs> they do have some cavalry. Three units of cavalry. They do have their own set of ballistas, so I'm going to have to take that out quickly. I think I'll take all my cavalry to take the ballista out straight away. Seems like a wise option. Okay, so where are they? They're over here. Where's the blister? Blister's in the center, so I want five units, four units of cavalry there. Swordsmen, slingers, we're going to group them up. Stay together. Stay together. I want to control ballistas. Let's get them back a little bit. Let's get my slings, slingers. As a kind of screen in front, but there I think, like so, and then we have all of these just to throw in, like so. I got my general as well. Where is he? There he is. Let's get him. Just okay, I'm just going to attack from the one side. Three, two, one, begin. Charge. 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 Mayhem. Yay, we got him in the head. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, you appear to be outnumbered over here. Men, get over there quickly. Battle ready and eager. It's okay, I think we've routed one of them. Uh-oh. Cavalry's come in. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. No, don't run. Get him off skirmish. Pull the unit back quickly. Pull two of them back quickly. Take out those cavalry units. Pierce their hearts. Get the frenzy charge going. Ooh, we took a few of them off the horse. Happy days. Can we get another shot away? We hope. Uh oh, gonna lose my cavalry. My disengage, disengage. <laughs> Don't want to lose my ballistas. No. my nobles out. There we go, the cavalry's gone. Control A. I'll actually get these to halt, I think. Don't want to hit my own men. I want to take the general out if possible. My slingers can actually stop as well. Let's get all the infantry involved. And all the cavalry. Continue the battle. Gonna fast forward this for you. Try to take them out if possible. Where are they? Just about to see them. Wish they did have an icon like in Shogun 2 where after the battle's over you can actually see them. Just want to make sure they're gone. I think they're gone. So we can end battle. Quit battle. End battle. Here we go. Nice and easy. Two and a half minutes. One of the uh, horsemen did get 106 kills. Quite surprising. The ballista crew did get one kill. But that's the end of them. I'm going to release the captives. I could capture them or... I can actually enslave them. Increase in rank. Military traditions. And I don't have enough mov movement points. Which is a shame, but... We have the victory. And that is the important thing. Now, my spy could probably halt this army here. Or, I think it's probably better to try and poison their provisions. 
weaken them further if possible. Oh, damn. It failed. That is a shame, indeed. This army's been taken out. This one hasn't, but we outnumber them heavily. We should be okay. Let's try and inflict all sword arm units. I think the sword arm units will be good. And we'll go for authority, plus one. Respect my authority. I'm going to end turn again now to see what happens in the end turn phase. And we'll see if we can get one more battle in this part before I wrap it up. And they've attacked me, which is quite surprising. But they do have that full army reinforcing. But we'll assault. We shall give battle. I could have actually retreated. It might have been better if I did. I don't want to be too eager to give battle. I want them to... But I want to be in my kind of comfort zone, unlike the last episode where... I was too eager, I threw everything in, I mean I probably would have been better to have waited one or two turns and then attacked, but alas, here we are. So, let's group these up, like so, get the cavalry, uh, any hills, hmm. might try one out here on the left flank, my cavalry can go on the left flank, we'll group them up as well, general in the centre, but there. I think I'm fairly happy with this. Group all them up as well. Start the battle. Find out where they are. Let's get a few shots away. Of course, this is the weakened unit, and I've actually decided to take the cavalry in charge at them. I'm actually going to bring a few things forward. Their reinforcements are coming from this flank, I think. Somewhere over here. Yes, so it's important that I take out these as quickly as possible. Say about there. Hope for the best. Doesn't look too bad, actually. Oh my. Oh my. Oh. And there's the reinforcements, as we can see. Just charge everything in. Bring the skirmishers around. Ballista crew done. Now we will get my artillery. Focus fire on the enemy. And we're going to have to start turning our men around soon. So what we will do is bring everything around to them. Charge you fools, why aren't you charging? Might lose cavalry here, don't want to lose cavalry. Charge, right. get one of these to break off. Be a general, if we can take him out, would be be very good for us indeed, while we try to reform. My general can actually push up as well. In front. How's things going over here? Still slugging it out with the general. This cavalry unit is going to push right up and take out some more of their ballistas. Oh my, they got cavalry. Not doing well against the nobles. Don't really want to sit here either, do we? So let's try and push up again, I think. Like so. Let's try and get a few shots away. bit too short. Not doing very well with my shooting skills. Now it's time to pull back. Cavalry doing well, but we'll take out the blisters soon behind their lines. That will help us out tremendously in this battle. Iberian cavalry will send the general out towards the Iberian cavalry. get myself into a defensive formation. We'll get some inspiration going as well. There we go, we caught up their cavalry now. Get my cavalry over there. Ah, it's not going well. Charge! 
We do outnumber them. That's the important thing to remember. Oh, General, what are you doing, you crazy fool? fool. Get out, you crazy son of a bitch. Move. There we go. Right, we've taken out the ballista crew. Now we can try and take out the slingers from behind. How's that going on there? These units can attack. Out there. Oh, it looks good. That looks fairly good. Yep, there we go. Like ten pin bowling. Need to start throwing everything in. Throw the reserves in. Why aren't they charging? Charge you fools. What are you doing? My battle hardened men should be should do fairly okay. I'm gonna get the ballista to fire on the nobles. I'm gonna try and hit the shield warriors from behind there. Big mosh pit now. Check all my abilities. I think they're all on. Nice little charge into the rear of the slingers. Holding up the cavalry there. This is an important battle. But they will say. Ooh, don't know, don't know. Maybe, maybe. Yes, we've taken one or two of them out. That looks better. That looks better. Some more of them out again. The general can come back into it now and charge them in the rear. Ballista! Need to get the general involved. I don't think my center's going to hold. Somehow. Got a hit. Oh, my scent is crumbling. That's not good. Oh my. Ah, oh, too, too overhit. Don't run, you fools. Where are you going? Don't go over there. <laughs> it's a disaster, guys. Inspire. Oh my god, the general's rout rout in. We might get a chance here now to win this. No, stop hitting over. <laughs> Don't do this to me. <laughs> oh, they're gone, I think. Right, they've routed. Come, swing around. We may get away with this. It's a big if, though. It is a big if. Oh, and we're out of ammunition, that's not good at all. I kind of need ammunition at the moment. <laughs> uh, but they... No, oh, that's... Crap. I think I should let them fire themselves. Charge. Frenzy. Kill them all. Charge. How are we doing? How's my general doing? Doing fairly well. Oh my god, it's going to go to the wire. Guys. Hold me. <laughs> hold me, guys. It's close. Come out. Get my general out. Reform, reform, reform. You fools. Get my ballista crew out as well. Do we have any bullets left? Throw everything you have at them. Oh my god, this is going to be close. 103 and 117. Send the ballista crew in first. Reform. Gonna send the ballista crew in. Now we are going to charge with the general. Oh, some of them come back. Mercenary Iberian swordsman. I'm hoping I got enough men to do this. Charge! Oh, one of them's wrapped in. That's good. Inspire. Frenzy charge. Second win. Oh, this is gonna be close. <gasps> Charge, kill them. Whatever you do, don't rout my men. 
Don't drought. General, come through, come through. I'm gonna go for a rear charge now. We may just get away with this. A nice narrow charge in if they can get there quickly. Oh my goodness, this isn't good looking good for me at all. Oh, one of them's routing. Spearmen are routing. General charge! For the glory of Iberia! Right, everyone, kill them. Kill the nobles. What abilities do I have left, if any? Nothing. One unit left. 85 of them. Valo has 41 men remaining as his unit, my general. <gasps> Look at all the dead bodies. It was a bloody battle. It was bloody. I don't think this army has enough left to take the Bora if I can come out victorious in this battle. They have 70 remaining. Surely we have enough. I'm going to actually try to take this unit around the flank. This unit can charge in. The horses are going to come back now. See if we can corner them. Oh my god, we're routing. No, 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 no. Bad, bad soldiers. Don't route. God. <laughs> charge. How come they haven't routed yet? I don't know. I got my ballista crew fighting them. <laughs> 59 of them remaining. Oh, I'm going to be so disappointed if I lose this battle. Kill them. 54, 53, 52, 51. Got no abilities left. Ah, oh, no, don't route. Ballista crew. Don't. No, <laughs> my spearman. Oh no, I've only got 18 men left. <laughs> General, <laughs> we need to charge them. Get out there now. Get out, get out, get out. General, get out onto this hill. <sighs> I can't believe this. We have 30, 28 seconds remaining to get a frenzy charge in. I don't even think they're going to pursue me. Or maybe they are. Uh oh. I can't believe it's come to this. It's better to get up here. Up here is where I want to be. We want to go for a downhill charge. From here. If possible. I can't believe it's come down to this. One unit against one. 45 Lusitani nobles versus 18 <laughs> noble cavalry. And the province of Ibora lies on the result of this. I'm going to wait on this hill for a few seconds. Let them march towards me. They're not spearmen, so I have that advantage. They're exhausted and they're a high threat. What about me? We are exhausted and we're moving fast. Right, let's get to the top of this hill. This is going to be insane. I wish one of my units came back then. It would have been great if they had. I wish I had a few more horses as well. Oh, this is... This is intense, guys. Oh, my God. Men of Iberia. <laughs> this is what it comes down to. One epic last charge. To hopefully claim a Bora. And wipe out this Lusitani army. Oh, man. Have we rested yet? We're still exhausted. But they got to come to us now. Once they get to about there where my cursor is, I'll start the charge then. If it doesn't, f if it fails, I'll try to retreat up this hill up here. Go for another charge down there, perhaps. Oh, can't believe this. I can actually go to wedge, I think. Charge bonus, but we lose our melee, melee defense. I kind of need a defense at the moment, so I won't go for that. 
My men are certainly excited though, they're quite happy. They're cheerful. Whew. What about them? They're still a high threat. It's a pity I couldn't flank them with, with another unit. Insane, absolutely insane. Look at all the blood, I can't get over all the dead bodies. Wow. Anyway, here we go guys. It's going to be coming up soon. When they get a bit closer, we will go for a charge. Still exhausted. High threat, still exhausted. I think it's now or never. Do or die. Vala Mogulis. All men must die. They're walking very slow, which, which, which I like. When they get that blue line, I think. Very, we're just very tired now. That's good. We have healed up slightly. They haven't. Oh, okay, guys. Three, two, one. Begin. Oh my God, this is going to be insane. Three, two, no. Shit. Abort, 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 abort. Ah, oh, you bastards. It's a good thing I didn't press the the frenzy charge then. Go for another charge quickly. Now. Now. They am reformed. Oh, it's going to be close. Still great in horses. They're down to 40. 39. Oh, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Yes. Kill. Kill them all. Kill them all. Oh, come on. Break. Break. We've got 13 horses left. 12. 11. 10. Oh, no. We're routing as well. No. Don't do this to me. <laughs> Yes, we've done it. Oh, my God. <gasps> Nine men remaining and we are wavering. Costly victory, I bet it was. Oh, my general had 245 kills. Oh, man. I guess... I just can't get over them speechless almost. Ferric victory. <laughs> I'm gonna kill them for that. We might still be able to take a Bora, but we'll, it will have to be taken with mercenaries. Man, oh man. He's dead as well. My general's dead. He'll never be forgotten. Ah, uh, what do I want? Who do I want? I'll go with him. Sell Celerix. My God, what a battle that was! Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. I've been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>